Now, David, David Farrell is going to uh, give a very brief summary of some of the things he has heard about this morning, or heard this morning, or his interpretation of what he's heard this morning, uh, and hopefully this will enable, will help you in the discussion that you will then have until lunchtime. David. Thanks, thanks, Tom. And somebody's left a watch here. Uh, so in, in two or three minutes, um, I, I think the strong signal we got, particularly from one of Jane's slides, is just how different the Dáil is from many other parliaments in Europe. So I think there's, there is a case, a clear case now made, that the Dáil is very different. And th the challenge for you in the afternoon is to start thinking of ways in which it might be, um, it might be affected, it might be changed, there might be a way of making the Dáil more like other parliaments in Europe. I was very taken by what Leah said at the start uh, of the proceedings this morning about how there might, be, there might not be an awful lot that could be done by way of constitutional reform, that a lot of the work, as we're getting the impression already, is more in terms of procedural changes within the Dáil rather than necessarily changing the constitution. However, Leah did, particularly in answer to some of the questions, suggest that a signal that the Convention might want to consider giving is possible constitutional changes relating to the Ciarán Caller, the election of the Ciarán Caller, or the role of the Ciarán Caller, or indeed to do with the committees. So it's possible for you to signal a, a desire for constitutional reform to try and, and strengthen uh, offices like that. Um, we've, we've already, I've seen some of the feedback from your discussions this morning, there's already, as no surprise, lots of ideas coming out from you about changes we can make in terms of the whipping system, the committees, the Ciarán Caller, and more and more besides. Um, so we could end up with a series of proposals, which is, of course, what we have had in the past from the Convention. But I was quite taken, and I know, with all due respect to what Tom was saying, I was quite taken by the, um, uh, what Meg was suggesting in terms of it's one thing for the Convention in the weekend that we've got for you to decide these things. It's one thing for you to make suggestions on possible procedural changes, but one, it's quite another for you to perhaps also consider saying to the Dáil, you have a subcommittee, perhaps it could meet more often, or perhaps it could be replaced by a committee with a specific brief to look in much more detail at changes to standing orders more generally. So it might be a, a, a something to consider. And then two final things, and the, 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 one of the final things I want to say is that leads on to the point that Meg and Jane and Mirish and others have said, which is um, we can um, propose changes to our heart's content, but nothing's going to happen unless attitudes change. It's attitudes of the citizens, we've heard, but it's particularly the attitudes of the members themselves. Dáil deputies need to feel they have ownership of this. We can't, as outside, you, you as members of the Convention can't just simply suggest in proposing change if the Dáil deputies aren't prepared to work with those changes. So there has to be a, an, an understanding that the members themselves and the citizens who, who vote for them uh, need to recognise the need for change, otherwise it's not going to happen. And then finally, uh, and I'm grateful to Leah for suggesting this is how we might frame things, um, that perhaps there are two questions we need to be considering as this goes on for the next uh, couple of hours. One is what to change, so what proposals might you want to make for change, but secondly and just as importantly, how to change. How to change. So I'll leave it at that. Okay, David, I think that's actually very helpful. Uh, <laughs> I think that last point about attitudes, both on the part of the electorate and perhaps on the part of parliamentarians, is, is, is important. But also coming through is that if we want uh, a more effective democracy, as a society, we're going to have to perhaps use, have put more resources to it. And just that's a reality as well that people need to be aware of and need to face up to. Anyway, I leave it at that. Uh, could we, we're going to move back into round table discussion mode and we'll continue until 1.15. Th one, one Thank you very much. <laughs>